the risk of dating myself once again, I was in grade school when the passions surrounding the space race were still palpable. Palpable passion. Say that ten times fast. For those too young to recall, the Soviet Union and the United States were in fierce competitions for space exploration supremacy. Another tongue twister. From roughly 1957 to 1975. It was an exciting time in space history, and today is no less exciting. The aerospace industry has been buzzing for months with speculation over, quote, dwindling NASA funding. Yet, a close look at NASA's annual budgets over the past two decades doesn't, doesn't show much dwindling. Recent layoffs in Boeing's Space Exploration Division and Lockheed Martin's Space Systems Company have spurred even more speculation, coupled this time with concern. Let's focus on some good news. Private space exploration, or space tourism and space commerce, as it's also being called, is thought to hold such great promise that visionaries have launched entire companies to aggressively grow the space, pun intended. Among those being progressive in private space exploration are Sir Richard Branson of Virgin Galactic, Elon Musk of SpaceX, Robert Bigelow of Bigelow Aerospace, and other aerospace entrepreneurs who are being called thrillionaires. By all accounts, more than $2 billion is being spent on human spaceflight projects. There's even an online travel site selling, quote, an epic journey to space. You, too, can travel 33 miles above Earth aboard the X-Core Aerospace Lynx Mark I suborbital vehicle. In some circles, it's referred to as a rocket plane. Or, to quote Wikipedia, it is a suborbital, horizontal takeoff, horizontal landing, rocket-powered space plane. In any case, should you elect to become a ticketed passenger, it will cost you roughly $95,000. If you're like me, passionate about space travel and technology, please drop me a line at Courtney at Penwell.com or voice your opinion on our command post community at community.millero.com. That's all for now. Thanks for watching the Military and Aerospace Electronics Report.